Welcome back to another Turbo Top 10. In this video, I'm highlighting 10 affordable niche fragrance brands. Sometimes when I upload a Top 10 video, I don't put niche in the title and I've been criticized for it. But fragrances are fragrances, right? There's no rule that says we have to divide them into designer and niche. I know that's what's commonly done, but I don't think it has to be done all the time. There's a couple of reasons I don't always put niche in my video titles. One of them is that niche videos get less views. There's simply less interest. I recently uploaded a spring top 10 of niche fragrances and in that video I said people could potentially be missing out on discovering some great fragrances. Many of the comments on that video claim that people just didn't watch niche videos because they perceive niche fragrances to be too expensive, less attainable, so they don't click. My argument is that's not always the case. Sometimes niche fragrances can be cheaper than designer fragrances. So if I can get more of you to watch niche content, I get more views and and you get the chance to discover some excellent fragrances. Win-win. Here are some of my favorite designer fragrances. Tom Ford Ombre Leather works out at £1.20 per mil. Dior en Parfum works out at £1.06 per mil. Chanel Alarm Sport, £1.02 per mil. I know these are the more expensive end of designer fragrances, but I've picked ones that if they do get discounted, they certainly don't get discounted by much. And many of you seem very happy to purchase these fragrances. I know they're very popular designer fragrance choices. And just so you know, I won't be making comparisons to the higher end luxury lines of designer brands like the Tom Ford Private Blend. I'll just be focusing on the lower priced lines. For the 10 affordable niche fragrance brands I'm about to show you, I'll be letting you know the price per mil so you can see how they compare to the designer fragrances that I just showed you. And I'll be starting off with the most expensive at number 10, working all the way up to the cheapest. Okay, enough of the chit chat, it's turbo time. Some Aaron Terence used fragrances can be quite expensive, but he does offer some cheaper options like Fake. For example, this is a beautiful Oud Vanilla and Amber scent. Price per mil is £1.30, so that's 10 pence more per mil than Tom Ford's Ombre Leather, but still not too far away, so it could be an affordable niche option for some people. The House of Suskin from Paris have a great line. My favourite is Black Influence, which is a gorgeous, boozy, powdery, Iris scent closer to ombre leather at £1.23 per mil and these 30ml bottles are just £37. Swedoft is an incredible Swedish niche house. One of their most popular scents is Rasputin, which is a lovely spicy woody fragrance. Cost per mil is £1.18, so dipping below that ombre leather cost and actually just a few pence more than Bleu de Chanel Parfum. Bath House is a British brand based in the Lake District. One of my favourites is Patchouli and Black Pepper. I love these bottles too. Price per mil is £1.06, so well below the Tom Ford and equaling the cost of Dior en Parfum. Zaharoff is a brand getting a lot of buzz at the moment. Signature Pour On works out at 99 pence per mil, making it cheaper than all the designer options I showed you at the beginning of the video. This is an amazing scent, not yet available in the UK, but I am working on a way to bring this to UK customers. You heard it here first, more news on that coming soon. A brand I've fallen in love with recently is Teo Cabanel. Here I have Ulala, La, which is a stunning powdery iris tobacco and sandalwood scent. Cost per mil is 91 pence, and they also do a 30 mil option for around 45 pounds. One of the best sandalwood scents I've ever smelled is from British niche brand GOF Trumper. Their sandalwood cologne is a steal at just 80 pence per mil. Okay, now it's getting silly because for just 45 pence per mil you can pick up Hudson's fragrances, stunning quality. Only thing is, I'm not sure if they're yet available overseas. I'm sure you've all heard of Armaf. Their top seller is Club de Nuit Intense Man. This is a ridiculous 27 pence per mil. So if Aventus is out of your price range, give this a whirl. 
Finally, it's Louis Cardin's Sacred. This is a gourmand beauty. Cost is 30 pence per mil, which would have brought it in at number two, but if you use my discount code in the description, you can get this for 24 pence per mil, which brings this one in at the number one spot for the most affordable niche fragrance. I know Louis Cardin made watches too, so you could argue that technically this isn't niche, but the style and the quality firmly put this in niche territory, in my opinion. I wouldn't include it in a designer video, and the value for money on this is insane so it's number one. So there are the 10 most affordable niche fragrances in my collection. I know I whizzed through them all pretty fast, so I will link to all the brand sites in the description. Some niche can be very, very expensive and out of people's price range, but that's not always the case, and I hope I've highlighted that for you in this video. Let me know what your most affordable niche fragrance brands are. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Remember, keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good, and I'll see you in the next one.